वेलकम टू टैंट लाइजी ड्रेस बस ये यू कैन मेक आउट टूडे इज रेसिपी इज क्रैब्स इस इंटरट माउथ वॉचिंग एंड इफ यू कैन सी ईच एंड एवरी क्रैब इज फिल्ड विद द एग्स सो दीज आर अमेजिंग क्रैब्स नाउ आई एम गोन टू मेक समथिंग अ ट्रेडिशनल डिश कॉल्ड चिम्बोर इज अ कालवन चिम्बोर इज नथिंग बट क्रैब्स एंड दिस इज सी के पी स्टाइल चिम्बोर इज अ कालवन सो दिस सी के पी स्टाइल क्रैब मसाला इज आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड बिलीव मी यूल सी द रेसिपी एज यूजल ऑल द रेसिपीज आर सिंपल टू मेक very less oil very healthy and particularly this recipe if you make this i'm sure you'll just make it all the time you know you won't uh, see further for any more recipes so now uh, let's quickly look at all the ingredients what we need for this crab uh, kalwan so of course the crabs i've got these crabs and uh, i got the crabs um, i've got the black live crabs so i went to the fish market i selected the good catch and uh, generally the female crabs are uh, good uh, so i selected them and uh, i asked them to clean it for me cut it for me so i have got this uh, crab here and then this is the as you can see i've got the fang separately we are also going to use these small legs these are very important so please do not miss this you have to have these small legs so i have washed them and kept it in the vessel now we'll look at the other ingredients now for this crab masala we need one special masala it's called a uh, pera masala which is nothing but a fry masala so i have taken dried coconut here and i have taken the onion i'm going to either you have a choice you can roast these two or you can roast them or you can fry them uh, separately of course so once uh, they are golden brown you can mix these two together and you can make you can keep tala masala ready okay now let's move on the spices what we're going to use for this kalwan now here comes the spices uh ginger garlic paste is inevitable uh during this uh, crab masala uh then we have a uh, red chili powder here turmeric powder salt and we are also going to use garam masala now this is a ckp a special garam masala but you can use any other masala and of course uh, to add the sourness to the gravy i'm going to use kokum if you don't have kokum you can use kokum sour or uh, yeah even the lemon juice would do but then this is a authentic way of making chimborisa kalwan okay so there goes and let's start the process now we'll divide the process into three parts first we need to marinate these with all these ingredients other than kokum secondly we need to make tala masala this is the second step and third step we are going to get milk out of these legs okay so let's start marination now we will be adding uh, all uh, ingredients for the marination purpose you need not keep it uh, marinated for long you can just uh, apply it and you can start making crabs so there goes ginger garlic paste then goes garam masala then we are going to add salt just be careful with the salt content because crabs um, they already have their own salt so just uh, taste your curry and in case you need add more salt then goes your turmeric powder and here goes the red chili powder okay so these are the main ingredients and now we will be marinating them either you can use hands actually you just cannot mix it well so what i'm going to do i'm just going to saute like this and uh, i'm going to toss it like this now this is second step i have taken the grated coconut and i'm going to put it in the microwave and after every 30 seconds i'm going to check so i won't be roasting I, i'll be roasting it i won't be frying it i'll be saving uh, some oil in this process in order to remove the milk we will be adding these small legs in the mixer and uh, we will also add water and now we will remove it from the mixer you can see this is the way it looks and now we will uh, see it so we'll take a vessel and take the finest sieve and now just try to remove so that uh, the shells and all the parts would remain on top and you will get a nice smooth mixture down if you can see here you can see how thick it is now i will be uh, adding some more water and that would be the last uh, say quarter glass of water and we'll just uh, take this nice uh, thin milk 
now we can throw this and this is what we need to make to add in the gravy you can see i have just roasted the dried coconut in the microwave this looks amazing and this is my uh, fried onion and now i'm going to mix these two and i'm going to also uh, make a, a small uh, wat and masala out of this so we are all set our crabs are marinated well then this is uh, dry coconut and onion paste is ready this is the milk of uh, the crab legs then uh, one onion finely chopped and then kokum i have taken the vessel here and i have added oil oil is very little just say uh, one tablespoon because we don't need much oil the gravy will cooked in the milk and in the water so in one tablespoon of oil i'll be adding my coke uh, onion now our oil is heated i've added onion and i'm going to saute it till it turns pink now we will be adding our crabs along with the fangs we will remove this masala we'll add some water and we'll remove this masala later on and we'll just try to lay this well in the vessel best way to saute them is just to toss them so toss them well and then add little water here we will add some more water and now we'll mix it now be gentle while mixing it take care of each and every crab do it gently and now uh, let it cook uh, i'll add some more water now we need to submerge these crabs in the gravy but we are also going to add uh, onion uh, and uh, dry uh, coconut paste so that time we'll need to add some more water so we won't add much of water now so now we'll just cover it and let it cook the whole gravy started boiling well so now we will be adding uh, the paste in this and we'll give again a good mix now give a good mix and be gentle again because now crabs are cooking it, crabs doesn't take much time to cook and the sign that it's cooked you can see the change in color they turn red like this so gently try to mix the paste that it should go everywhere now if it starts boiling after this then we will be adding this uh, liquid the milk of the crab legs in it so we will again cover it and let it cook some more time it started boiling well you can see i'll just show you the closer look yeah so now we will slowly add this this will automatically add more gravy now again give a good mix in fact if you have cold and cough and if you have this gravy that's really good for you so it has got medicinal properties also and so one more reason to make crabs and eat them and enjoy them So now we will again allow it to boil. At this time, you can just taste it and you can decide in case if you need uh, more uh, salt or red chili powder or garam masala. We will be adding our kokum also here. So now just close this and let it cook. Let it boil. boiling for good 10 minutes and i can uh, smell the aroma and this mind boggling 
I love crabs and here we go. Oof. As you can see, it's boiling well and the crab curry, chimbori, it's a kalvan is ready. And now I'll be adding coriander. We'll garnish the dish with coriander. And one can uh, enjoy this with uh, roti or bhakri or bread or with rice. So here is the kalvan for you. I hope you liked our CKP special uh, recipe and uh, do make it and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, make and share. Thank you guys.